Hello, this is Compound Into Stock Guy, and today we're going to be talking about Tilray. We're going to be talking about the business. We're going to be talking about their new announcement in Portugal. We're going to be talking about their new processing and greenhouse Natura Naturals. And we're going to be talking about their revenue. And we're also going to be talking about Manitoba Harvest. And we're also on top of that, we're going to be bringing you the charts for Tilray right now so stay tuned if you're new to the channel please subscribe helps my channel grow I appreciate it please give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if you dislike the video I also want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor this is just for entertainment information purposes do not buy or sell a stock based on anything I talk about in this video buy after you did your research and your due diligence and you like the investment you're pursuing or selling so this is what happened and nobody's really took a notice uh, basically Tilray's been on a downturn ever since when they hit uh, $300 in October they pretty much I mean they've, they've had some nice days here and there but for them for the most part they've just c constantly been going downwards and they hit 48 US dollars a few days ago and I think the bottom might be set in again uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm watching it very closely, and uh, we'll get to that later. But basically, they just announced that they have a 250,000 square foot facility in Portugal, and it serves as their processing distribution and research for cannabis products in Europe. So they, you see the CEO, he's doing the ribbon cutting. That's pretty awesome. I think... Uh, I think the company's doing a lot of things. You know, this company isn't a company that doesn't have connection connections. This company has connections. Okay, they're connected with Ad the the alcohol beverage company. They're connected with Novartis for pharmaceuticals. They're 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 connected with a lot of LPs. They're connected with Supreme Pharmaceuticals. They're connected. Uh, you know. They also took out Manitoba Harvest and you know that the privateer holdings, the, the company that brought uh, Tilray public, uh, that guy's a billionaire and he has connections. So yeah, I mean, I think for $5 billion, I mean, I'll get into that later, but basically $5 billion when you're comparing, say, a company to Cure Leaf in the States, uh, I think on a long-term basis, Tilray is going to be a much bigger player than than uh, Cure Leaf, just for the fact that it has the connections with those big S&P 500 players. Now, will they have the same type of revenues in 2019? No, I think Cure Leaf will have much bigger numbers. But if we're talking, say, 2021 or 2022, I think Tilray will be a much bigger player. I also think that. They'll 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 be doing hemp processing uh, in USA, and they're working on uh, cannabis pharmaceutical products. I mean the, the whole gamut. On top of that, if you compare it with Kronos, that got 2.8 billion from Altria and only made five million dollars last quarter. This company has a lot more going for it, and they're at a lower valuation than uh, than Kron. Now, I would say the companies that are going to get a big partnership right now, soon, I'd pick three companies that I think are extremely likely. I think Hexo Corp, I think Aurora Cannabis, and I think Tilray. I mean, can other companies get a big partnership? Sure, but not many other companies probably will. I mean, you could think maybe uh, Afria or can trust but I don't really think they will I mean Afria will get a partnership but they're not gonna get a blockbuster partnership in in my opinion so it leaves Tilray getting getting the cream because they could get a big partnership with Novartis they've already have a 50 million dollar partnership I think they that they put in to do the beverage deal so they're gonna have beverages come later in uh, legalization 2.0 so the company is working on so many different levels yeah they're not doing crazy numbers such as uh, Aurora and, Can and uh, Canopy and Cure Leaf and the Kush bottles 
and uh, tilt and true leaf. They're not doing the same type of numbers yet, but come in a couple years, just because they have the global expansion, they are going to have some very nice numbers. So, so then they're they're looking forward to receiving their GMP EU GMP certification, which I don't think the company will have a problem receiving EU GMP since they were the first company in Canada, as far as my uh, brain remembers, to get EU GMP. So they had EU GMP before Aurora, they had it before Wayland, they had it before Kronos. So I mean, they're they're a first mover. So I think Portugal is a very good co uh, country to be growing cannabis in. It seems as it's opening up very nice. So yeah. And they they bought this Natura Naturals uh, for for High Park, their recreational brand, a 662,000 square feet facility with 155,000 for cultivation. And they they just got a processing license, so now they can do oils and edibles and all that other good value added products. So it gives them a lot of flexibility. And yeah, they have a high park, uh, 56,000 square feet processing and researching development in London, Ontario. And yeah, I mean, they, they're, they're working all over. Sure, they were way overvalued when they came out of the gate, when they went to 150 and $300. And then people are like, oh, this company's overvalued. But do I think they're still overvalued yes I do personally I do think they're overvalued but that the street doesn't matter if they're overvalued or not they're gonna pump them up if they think that the company has a lot of potential and there's they also could be in a big partnership uh, coming up so who knows which big S&P 500 company could be giving them another big cash injection say three billion or six billion or something crazy in this in the same tune that canopy has i don't think they'll get as big of a deal as canopy but it wouldn't surprise me if it's very close so yeah because uh canopy gets got five billion to start and then they got another three billion or so for for warrants when they get exercise eventually so they're they're good to go for for their cash but at the same time they're burning cash really quick too so i don't know canopy's a different it, they're another animal but uh yeah so they did 15.5 million last quarter and they're going to be reporting in i believe uh may may 14th so that's pretty close so that's another catalyst because if it's upcoming earnings that they could have a decent quarter now 50.5 million doesn't seem that great but it's also that's closer to about 21 million Canadian so if you compare it with the Hexocorps and the CanTrust and the Afrias well Afria got more money but they're not included because it's like from their distribution in Europe so they're not counting those but I mean, it should be around organigrams numbers, so I don't know. It should be somewhere around there. If they did 18 million USD, that'll be close to organigrams number. So they're not going to have Aurora's numbers or Canopy's numbers for uh, a host of reasons that I'm not going to get into. But I do think that they will have uh, growth on this quarter. They should have maybe 18 million maybe only 16 or 17 I, I'm not sure exactly but it will be a decent number and yeah so let's look at the chart now and then I'll have some some uh, final touches on what I think about Tilray so you look at this it looks like there's a support around $50 and this is from the weekly so it's not as uh, substantial it's just investing.com if you go back that that long it only goes to a week so I can't do it for a daily but yeah that's maybe I can Let's see no so so anyways it it hit there 
and it seems to because because there was a red candle here and that looks like it was the bottom and then it hit a green candle so I, I did this arrow again I don't think it's gonna work exactly that that vertical but I think it could be slowly coming up to 65, 70, 80 and get up to that $80 range. And then it'll maybe chill around there for a while, for maybe a couple months or so. And then it should probably get test test these highs, I think. Obviously, eventually, then it'll, it'll, it'll come down. Again, the RSI, this is on a weekly, so it's not as far down. As on the daily but on the daily it was below the, the 30 RSI so it was it was uh, like around 22 or something RSI so that's very low that it was very oversold so basically it 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 had to go up I think and now it's just getting out of the oversold and it's gonna gonna start getting into the middle and eventually like it it will get a time where it'll be overbought and that's when you should start thinking about selling but i think that i think if you could get in again i'm not a financial advisor but i think for if you could get in somewhere around here i think if if you put a, a sell order 20 percent higher or 50 percent higher or or 100 percent higher in the next to, to to hold for like four to six months I think it should go higher um, again it could break that if it breaks this tomorrow today or tomorrow then it could go all the way back down to 20 so then that's where you'd probably want to have a stop loss or your own physical stop loss where it's like okay it's at 50 then I'm gonna sell it at around 45 or or 47 or something like that because you're taking you just don't want to deal with that risk that it's going to go back down to 30 and you're going to lose half of your money on the on the position but but yeah i think that it could be going again they also have uh manitoba harvest that people haven't really thought about and that is the leading hemp seed brand in all of canada they're also in booster juice and they're they're around the globe so they that was a very good acquisition for them that not many people are really praising but they they only paid 420 million and i think that's a very good acquisition i think it's going to it's going to pay uh it's going to be good revenues to to add to their their bottom line and just with the hemp growing and whatever they're do, working on for patents for pharmaceuticals and just with their rec brand growing and and Europe and a host of things just they, they're gonna be full circle and they're gonna be the company that's gonna be acquiring the smaller guys in USA when it comes time when this legalization because they have the connections and they've been on that the NASDAQ they were the first they came to the NASDAQ to, uh, right when they listed so they, they got some connections I think they're I think it's going to be a, a for the price it's at right now. I don't know. I, I'm I'm thinking about getting a call option today. Again, I'm not sure because I don't really have money to get a call option unless I was to sell some call options. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking about because I just think that it could go to seventy, eighty dollars in the next month, and I'd like to get the the leverage on the derivatives of the option contracts so yeah anyways i hope you like this video and it was informative please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future content entertainment and until next time cup peace